Hi, hello, this is Charlie Jose and you're watching another episode of Upsim Charlie and today's episode uh, I'll attempt to open this uh, because this is my first Bluetooth speaker. I bought it in the streets of Manila uh, in the Banqueta. It cost me around 500 pesos at that time and uh, believe it or not the quality of this speaker is very good. It could uh, reach high volumes and the sound output is still very very good. But uh, over time I had problems with it. The USB charging port is losing contact so sometimes well most of the time if you put it in the normal position if you put it in a normal position it doesn't charge so I talked to several uh, technicians and they said that uh, probably there's some loose contact so I just want to see the inside of this and uh, hopefully we could uh, fix it so let's do some cracking an opening of this uh, can type Bluetooth speaker. So with me is some uh, precision tools meant for uh, electronic devices. You could also open a uh, cell phone with it or a laptop. Actually after this one, I'm gonna attempt to open a laptop, an old laptop of mine, and we will uh, replace the old hard disk drive with uh, with, with a new SSD drive. So usually, what do we have here? It's the screws are in the bottom, so I already helped myself in uh, removing the adhesive for this one and uh, I think we could do with uh, zero zero ph zero zero so by the way uh, I bought this in Lazada the precision tools so this one cost us around less than 200 pesos so uh, zero zero is correct so always put on the side the screws if in case you're hearing some uh, construction work at the back uh, I'm filming this around uh, 2 p.m. so they're still active in my back they're uh, building a house so one thing one good thing about this is that it's magnetic oh by the way i have another camera beside me to take some close-up shots so i've managed to remove the screws so these are the screws So it's very, very tiny. Okay. So for those who already have electronics background, so I'm just the amateur here. So what do we need to do now? Okay, so we just open up the insides. And this is the cap. This is the cap. Okay, I'm gonna part the cap. Okay, so what do we have here? We have the board. I'm gonna put the tools aside. So we have the board. We have the board. So what can we see? Okay, so first things first, this is the USB port for the USB stick this one is the power on power off this is the aux and this is the usb charging port i don't know if it's you can you can see it so there it is i'm gonna shoot a separate video so you could have a close-up so the problem with this one is that uh, 
it's not charging the way it should be on a normal position so let's see oh there's still screws that you need to remove so separate that too. So we're gonna open. Okay, so that's the inside of a can type uh, Bluetooth speaker. So that's the battery. That's the battery. And that's the actual speakers, which is also inside. So the, I have no problems with the speakers, with the speaker. But the only problem is that I'm having problems with the USB charger. So again, this is the battery. I have no problems with the battery. Uh, this is the auxiliary. This is the power on, power off button. This is our switch. Power on, power off switch. This is the USB stick reader. This is the USB power charger. And supposedly this is the SD card reader which I don't use. So earlier, so earlier, this one, was a little bit loose, so I pushed it down. Hopefully there will be contact uh, between the negative and the positive. So this is the USB charger. So our next attempt is to Our next attempt is to try to put the, oh by the way, at the back is some controllers as well. So the volume down, volume up, selection, play, pause, play, pause, volume up, volume down, negative, positive, as signs or symbols. I'm going to get a USB charger. So I'm back. So we're gonna we're gonna try to power up this problematic charger. So you see that. So it's charging, but uh, it has loose contact. It's charging, no doubt. So if I, so it has an angle to it. So you need to angle the, in order to charge the battery. Weird. If I push down, oh, 
Move it up. Right, push down. Pushing down. So there's a loose connection on maybe both negative and positive. So we have uh, returned the, the board uh, you've seen the problem and uh, I'm going to show you two uh, fixes for this. Those are two options on how to fix a USB uh, charging port for a, for a Bluetooth speaker. This is Charlie. Just want to say thank you for watching this video of uh, the opening of this Bluetooth speaker and uh, thank you for joining the journey. Uh, I still need to really have to fix this with a technician to help me. It's a simple problem. It's easy to fix. I've already shown you two uh, pictures on how to uh, circumvent the problem but the, those are two options. The first option should be soldering the actual USB to the negative and positive again so it won't have a loose contact. The second is maybe one of them just needs a jumper cable like in the video that uh, uh, like in the picture that I showed you and the third one would be the last one is the last option is to remove the mini USB and replace it with the negative and positive wire directly from a USB cable to solve the solution. But with that, the thing is that uh, the cable will always be connected to the device. So it's not uh, glamorous anymore or it's not uh, beautiful anymore. But hey, tech is tech. We should not be wasting tech and uh, throwing it away. If we can still salvage the tech, then let's salvage the tech. Don't throw it away. Last thing we want is another pollutant under the soil. So again, this is Charlie Jose saying thank you and see you on my next episode. Bye-bye!